Good morning. I'm so glad to be with you today. I want to tell you something. You are qualified in faith to do things for the Lord. What are you qualified to do? A lot of us, the second we hear, what am I qualified to do for the Lord? We think of like an elevator operator. You got to have a certificate to work on that elevator or a surgeon. You certainly want the, a qualified surgeon operating on you. But when it comes to faith, we often use that criteria on ourselves. We think, I'm not qualified to do that for the Lord. The Bible gives us a great scripture. It says, we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. The thing is, when you realize in your own life, you look at a situation and say, in the Lord, how could I help that person? Or what could I do? When you believe God, when you have faith in God, God adds that. He sees that as righteousness. So when you're, when you're looking at your life, you're qualified to do things in the Lord where you're using Jesus' qualities. You're believing in faith. And it's not that God's going to reprimand you. He wants you to take a view of life that way. He wants you to see yourself as more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. You may not have the ability to do it, but when God, when you in your heart believe in God and with God in faith, as you put your faith in him, faith in and of itself is the active ingredient or the active agent that then when you operate in faith and say, you know what, maybe I am qualified to do this for the Lord. I may not be qualified to work on an elevator, but I'm qualified to speak into this situation or share love or however God wants you to use. The thing of faith is the center that will achieve getting there. The thing in my heart that I got to do is I just got to have faith out of the overflow of the heart the mouth speaks. If I have faith in my heart, my mouth, the words will line up to, and God will create something in me that will do the job and it will be better than what probably anybody else could do. Not only are you qualified, but you'll probably do a better job of the, you know, you think, well, they'd be, they'd be better at it. They won't be better at it if you do it in faith. And if God interjects, in, as you trust in faith, if God interjects into your situation, he's going to break down a gift of the Holy Spirit. He's going to give you a wisdom the gift of wisdom doesn't come from yourself. It comes from God. You're going to see things as God wants you to see it. But the key is you have that active ingredient of faith. You don't resist off the start and say, I'm not qualified. I, 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 there's no way I could do this. You believe, God, I am more than a conqueror. So I, in faith, through, it's not through trying. It's through Christ Jesus. Because I believe in Jesus. Because Jesus has filled me with his Holy Spirit, because of all the things that Jesus has done for me, I'm qualified to do this. And then God whispers something, and you're able to do something that blows the doors off anything else that could have been done. And I want you to think of that way. God could use me. I'm qualified. I'm more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. I, and God could blow the doors off a situation. He literally could blow the, what, what is God wanting to blow the doors off in a situation that you're facing? That someone needs your help. That God, as you have faith in your heart, he's going to blow the doors up and provide in a way. Say something. Do something in faith in this opportunity. What are you qualified to do? Don't miss what God wants you, what, what I am to do right now. Believe God. Allow God your heart so that God, all I need, all I can do right now is have faith, God, in you, right, in this situation. I can see, God, you're not mean. You're for this person. God, use my words. Let faith arise. Hope arise. God, help us blow the doors off for somebody this week. In Jesus' name, amen.